Celebrity Dr William Mooney is under investigation after two of his patients died. He's back operating under strict conditions, but it's up to patients to find that out for themselves. Hello, I'm Dr William Mooney and welcome to my clinic. Someone has to put a stop to this. This cannot go on. I'm a fellow of the Royal Australasian College of Surgeons. Dr William Mooney boasts he's Australia's leading ear, nose and throat surgeon, specialising in rhinoplasty and facial cosmetic surgery. But some patients say the way he treated them is unacceptable. It's Lauren Goldman from A Current Affair. Business as usual for you? Do you think had Puya not been operated on by Dr Mooney, that he, his mother and his sister would still be here? Absolutely. Absolutely, without a doubt. The HCCC is considering disciplinary action uh, on you, Dr Mooney. Are you aware of that? I have no comment to make. Please let me know. Okay. I wasn't feeling well. I was kept on vomiting blood. I think to him it was just like fun and games. This man was a patient of Dr William and Mooney. I put my whole trust in one guy. And he let you down? He let me down in a very big way. And I kept on calling the office back. I kept on complaining, I kept on sending emails after emails after emails. No one would come back to you. Dr Mooney performed a rhinoplasty and liposuction on the patient's jowls in 2013. The case was a complicated one, as he had previously undergone surgery to improve his breathing. The patient says he woke up during the surgery. His breathing didn't improve following the operation. He says he's been left with permanent scars, which he covers with his beard, and he's upset about how he was treated by Dr William Mooney. I had this sore throat going on for two or three weeks, and I thought something is seriously wrong. And he goes to me, well, OK, it's in front of everyone. Well, I've had three cases today of throat cancer, um, so let's put you on the table. Maybe you're my fourth. When leaving um, his office and walking down the hallway, Dr Mooney uh, yelled out, when you grow some cojones, you come back and see me. From what you know, how would you describe Dr William Mooney? I would describe him very cold and callous. Puya Pularian should be alive today. He was just 24 years old, a student working two jobs to support his mum Sissy and sister Ashley after his father died of a heart attack six years earlier. Puya was also working to pay for aviation training, hoping to become a commercial pilot. On the 15th of February last year, Puya underwent a routine operation to alleviate sleep apnea at Strathfield Private Hospital with Dr Mooney. It's alleged Dr Mooney may have nicked an artery. And he was released, and then within hours of coming home, he was spewing and throwing up blood. Obviously, he was breathing. I cannot understand how a hospital or the doctor could have allowed this to happen. This is just not right. Puya was taken to Canterbury Hospital by ambulance, then transferred to Concord Hospital, where he suffered a major bleed, followed by cardiac arrest, resulting in severe brain damage. His life support was turned off on the 3rd of March 2018. I never would have thought. This man, who doesn't want to be identified, was a close friend of the Pulladian family. In the weeks after Puya's death, he went with Sissy and Ashley to see a lawyer. What did Sissy and Ashley want to achieve by going to seek legal advice? She, she, I said, we don't, we're not after money. We want justice. This man needs to be stopped. In a tragic turn of events, Puya's mother, Sissy, and 20-year-old sister, Ashley, took their own lives five months after Puya's death. Their bodies were discovered in their car, parked here in the driveway of their home. A note was left on the front door. It read, call the police, thank you, love you. Puya Pularian was Dr Mooney's second patient to die after complications from surgery. Alex Tawil had a nose operation with Dr Mooney in November of 2017. The cause of death involved surgical trauma to the cribriform plate, which went undetected during surgery. Eventually, the 41-year-old father had his life support machine turned off. A current affair is aware of at least three other patients who claim to have had issues with Dr William Mooney.
One patient lodged a complaint alleging that in 2011 and 2012, she underwent two rhinoplasty surgeries with Dr. Mooney. Following the surgery, the patient said she was experiencing pain on the right side of her nose to the corner of her eye. Claims she says Dr. Mooney dismissed. The patient presented herself at the Sydney Eye Hospital where she says she was diagnosed with a staph infection and pseudomonas in her nose. She claims a doctor at the hospital told her she was close to going blind or losing her right eye completely. To this day, the patient says she continues to visit the Sydney Eye Hospital. She says she can't see well and has permanent scarring to her eyes. And if you have these symptoms, make time to speak to me about it. And the results are fantastic. Dr. William Mooney was suspended by the Medical Council on the 7th of November, 2018. And on the 3rd of June of this year, the suspension was lifted and Dr. Mooney returned to work. The New South Wales Medical Council told a current affair it has imposed a range of stringent conditions on Dr Mooney's medical registration to protect patients and the public generally. Hi, the current affair understands that on at least three occasions, the Medical Council called urgent hearings to consider whether Dr Mooney posed a risk. In December 2016, a complaint was made to APRA, alleging Dr Mooney engaged in a sexual relationship with a patient and had used cocaine with that patient. In 2017, Dr Mooney became subject to weekly drug testing. That condition was lifted later in the year, but in 2018, he again became subject to drug testing as a condition of his registration. Libby Brooks is the principal lawyer in the medical negligence department at Morris Blackburn. Does Dr Mooney need to tell his current patients about the restrictions on his registration? No, a doctor doesn't need to let a patient know. So it's really important for patients to make sure that they thoroughly research their doctors or any surgeon before they undergo a serious procedure. The Healthcare Complaints Commission is currently investigating Dr Mooney and told a current affair, in these circumstances, evidence has been found that a practitioner has significantly departed from the expected standard of clinical care and treatment, or may provide grounds for a finding of unsatisfactory professional conduct by a disciplinary body. Dr Mooney, are you telling your patients about the restrictions on your licence to practice? Or there is an extensive list of serious restrictions on your please, registration. Please leave me alone. Okay. I'd just like some answers, Dr Mooney. The deaths of Dr Mooney's patients have been referred to the coroner. Dr Mooney has previously said, while he was very sorry to the families for their loss, he denied causing the deaths. We'd like to know that you are informing patients of those restrictions. I've got no comment to make to you and please leave me alone. Is it when they call up and make an appointment? Is it during the consultation or is it before operating? <coughs> please leave me alone and please respect my privacy. The HCCC is considering serious disciplinary action. I mean, that doesn't happen to just anyone. Can you shed any light on why they might be I taking know, action? And I'm disgusted even getting to meet this guy. You never forget these people. You never lose these people. These people are always with you. Dr Mooney is no longer operating at Prince of Wales, Strathfield Private, Bankstown or St Luke's Private Hospital, but is accredited at Bondi Junction Private Hospital. If you've been a patient of his, we'd like to hear from you. Our email address is on your screen now or just give us a call. And if you or someone you know needs help, there's support available, contact Lifeline. The number is on your screen now, 13 That's 13